I started playing soccer when I was like two, like just kind of kicking it around. And uh, this place called Little Kickers, it was an indoor soccer place where it's like you just go in, kick the ball around, and that was always super fun. And then I moved on to a rec team, which my dad coached, and that was also really fun. I really enjoyed it, but it was also like we were we were definitely winning a lot. It was definitely like you could just you just run past people, like I don't know. But so I joined a team called Celtic, and they hadn't really started yet. Like they. The, when I first joined the team, I had a friend from my rec team, and there were like two other people. So our first season wasn't even playing. It was just practices. We had practices like two times a week. But then we got more people to join, and we finally got to actually play in a season, and that was really cool. That was really fun. And then I played with Celtic all all ten years of from then, and... Yeah, that's. They grew, and by the end by the end of it, I was a Celtic coach, and it was kind of, kind of cool seeing like. Where I was, and then I got to coach kind of that age. Freshman year of high school, I was really into like looking into college soccer. Like I signed up for the the, NCIA. I signed up for like all of the all of the different email roles that you could be on to like try to get stuff, and. I was really into it, but, like, my mom was definitely good at, like, keeping me grounded and, like, we don't need to sign up for, like, like, she was, like, that's four years away. Like, you can think about it, you can sign up for that, but, like, don't, don't get, don't get ahead of yourself in terms of, like, you may decide differently when you end high school. But so I had that, and then I was really into that for all of freshman year. I was really into that beginning of sophomore year. But then when COVID hit, it was just like, obviously everything stopped. And I just like stopped playing soccer for at least like a month or two. Because I was also, I had an ankle injury like right before COVID. So it was like, it was this really bad, perfect storm of like, I could really just stay inside and like not do that much. And then because I wasn't allowed to like hang out with people, I think a big part of soccer for me is like the community it's the the friends you make and like one of my favorite things about soccer is like traveling right you get to just hang out with your teammates and get to just have fun just doing stuff together and when COVID hit it was like we weren't doing stuff together like we had a few zoom meetings some zoom workouts but like those just weren't really the same it was just like log on here's what we're doing here's some ball stuff but there wasn't really any like talking with them and there wasn't any hanging out with them. And I think that really, that really took away a lot of the joy I had for soccer, which kind of disillusioned me from playing college soccer. I was just like, I don't know, I'm not enjoying this as much anymore. And like, I even honestly considered just not coming back for like, even if COVID ended, I was considering just like stopping, but I obviously, I didn't, especially, but especially it was. It was because, like, I wanted to see my friends again. I wanted to play soccer with them. I wanted to, I wanted to enjoy my time with them as I ended things out. And kind of regaining the love for soccer kind of happened gradually. Like, when I first came back, it was like, oh, I'm not as good anymore. Like, my touch isn't there as much anymore, right? I'm obviously out of shape because we weren't doing as many runs. But it was like, I think... It was that gradually, it was like, if if I didn't have, like, the people there that I loved hanging out with, that I loved playing soccer with, I, I wouldn't have continued to go on with it. For me, it was, we have a family friend who went to Lewis and Clark, and she recommended it, and so I was applying to colleges, and I was like, okay, cool, I'll apply to Lewis and Clark, and I thought it was a really cool campus, so we visited the campus, and I was like, that's super pretty. That's somewhere that I definitely want to be, even before soccer, even before I was thinking about soccer. And then Jim emailed me, and he was like, "We're starting a soccer team. Like we're we're gonna be, we're gonna be a new thing, first time in thirty one years." And it kind of reminded me of Celtic, of my select team, where it was like, "Oh, 
I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be, like, one of the first ones there from, like, day one, and I get to kind of help, like, I get to see it build up, and I get to see it hopefully prosper. And I was like, that just sounds like such a cool opportunity. So I, like, I scrounged together some, like, video materials of me playing, and I pulled some stuff from pre-COVID because I was like, oh, like, eh. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, and so I emailed that to him and I was just really excited about it and it made my decision about college much easier. Once I decided that I really wanted to play soccer, it was just like, cool, I can I can get around this, I can decide this. And I already knew that Lewis and Clark was a college that I wanted to go to as well.